Hey guys, it's Extreme 3D, and in this video, I will be reviewing uh, Bridge Nylon from Tallman. So let's get started. So, uh, anyways, I got this for Christmas, and I was really excited because I really wanted to test this filament out. And uh, it's really cool filament. It really is. It's flexible. It's like chemical resistant, and uh, I think it's really cool. I mean, it's nylon, and I think it's awesome. So I'm gonna just first of all give you uh, some advice with when printing with this, uh, and I will tell you about some struggles I had, and then I'll show you some prints that I printed with this filament. So, um, anyways, I'll. Let's get started with that. Okay, so anyways, this filament, um, when you want to print, when you're printing with this, you should put your extruder temperature at around 240 degrees Celsius and your bed temperature at around 90 degrees Celsius. And uh, you normally you'd want to print with a glass bed and some glue, but um, I'm using Flashforge and it doesn't have a glass bed, but it's still printed pretty well. Um, there's still a few things that I have to get down with this filament and uh, I'll come out probably with, a, and I'll probably come out with a video later in the year with some more prints with this filament and along with some of the other filaments that I've reviewed on this channel. So anyways, um, first of all, when you're printing with this filament, uh, you need you need glue. It's very important to have glue when printing with this filament because there's a lot of warping and uh, I've had a lot of failed prints with this filament. Um, here's one. I throw a bunch away, but this is one. I was, I was trying to make a gear cube and sadly I couldn't because I couldn't print these little pins out because they kept on coming off the bed and this thing just wouldn't print. But as you can see, it's pretty flexible. It's not rigid, it's not really, it's not as hard as uh, PLA is, but this is pretty flexible, it's strong stuff. Um, it does kind of crack easily, uh, and I've noticed that there are like some gaps and stuff when it's been printing. Here, I'll show you an example. Uh, it could just be some of the settings I've been using, but as you can see right here, uh, there's some gaps uh, in between the little uh, holes right here. Uh, and I've noticed that, but I mean, as you can see, I can kind of bend it, I mean, and squeeze it uh, together, but you can hear some cracks and stuff. Uh, so, I mean, it's pretty cool filament, but uh, yeah. So anyways, I've struggled with having the filament stick to the print bed, and at first, uh, when I first tried to print with this, the spool actually came off, and uh, I just, I made a video uh, two weeks ago about this spool holder, so uh, be sure to check that out. I will have a little box here that you can click on. Uh, but anyways, uh, I once came home to a print that was just string, it was like spaghetti, it was horrible, and then I've, I've been getting stuff like this, and it's very annoying, but um, after a while, I finally got prints that were kind of looking okay. They do look a little bubbly, though. That's the only issue, um, and I don't really like that, but um, I mean, it's better than nothing. Also, I had an issue where the glue kept on sticking to the prints, which is very annoying, um, but I'm going to try to figure out something to fix that. So anyways, uh, these prints, I think, have really come out well. Um, gears, I always see people print like nylon gears. I think it's really cool, and I do recommend this filament. I just think that you need the proper printer to print with this stuff, and I'm not sure if my Flash Forge is the best candidate for this filament. Uh, but otherwise, it does print, I mean, it doesn't print that bad, um, and I'm pretty happy with the results, and uh, I do recommend this filament. It's really good for making different prototypes that need to be strong and a little bit flexible. Um, and yeah, so uh, please be sure to stick around for my next video, which will be a review of a different type of uh, filament. It's actually PLA and uh, color change changes, supposedly, and we'll find out in that video, um, so please be sure to stick around for that. My Thingiverse profile is down below, so you can go check out all my files and designs, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Um, please subscribe if you're new, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!